Peppa Pig, George's friend. Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun at the playground today. Peppa is on the roundabout with Susie Sheep and Danny Dog. George is playing in the sandpit with Mummy Pig. Rebecca Rabbit and her little brother Richard Rabbit arrive. Richard has brought his toy dinosaur. Hello everyone, says Rebecca. Please can I play on the roundabout too? Hop on Rebecca, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast, says Rebecca. Richard wants to go on the roundabout with his big sister. Peppa sighs. <sighs> if Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. <coughs> Richard, perhaps you'd like to play with George instead, says Mummy Rabbit. No, says Richard. George has a dinosaur just like yours, says Mummy Rabbit. Let's go and see. Richard is the same age as George, and they both love dinosaurs. Richard wanted to see George's dinosaur, says Mummy Rabbit. Urgh, dinosaur, roars George. George and Richard both giggle. George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? asks Mummy Pig. No, says George. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? asks Mummy Rabbit. No, says Richard. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. Oh. Mummy Rabbit gives both dinosaurs to George. George laughs and Richard starts to cry. <coughs> then Mummy Pig gives both dinosaurs to Richard. Richard laughs and George starts to cry. <coughs> George and Richard always cry when they play together, says Peppa. Can you two big girls teach him how to play together? asks Mummy Rabbit. Peppa and Rebecca take George and Richard to the sand pit. The girls show their brothers how to make sand castles. Wow. George uses his spade to squash Richard's sand castle. Richard cries. Richard uses his spade to squash George's sandcastle. George cries. This game has not gone very well. George, what's your favourite thing in the whole playground? asks Mammy Pig. Seesaw, shouts George. George sits on one end of the seesaw, but it needs someone on the other end. Richard wants to play on the seesaw too. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit lifts Richard onto the seesaw. George and Richard go up and down on the seesaw. George and Richard are playing together, cheers Peppa. George likes Richard. Richard likes George. George and Richard like playing together. The end. <laughs> Pedro is late. <laughs> Peppa and her playgroup friends are going on a trip to the museum. Wow. Are we ready, children? asked Madame Gazelle. Where is Pedro? I bet he is still in his pyjamas, <laughs> says Susie Sheep. He's always late, <coughs> says Peppa. Pedro Pony is fast asleep in bed. Pedro likes sleeping. <coughs> Pedro, wake up, <coughs> says Mummy Pony. You're going to be late for the pre group trip. <coughs> <coughs> Pedro yawns and gets out of bed. Okay, Mummy, he says. 
When Pedro and Mummy Pony arrive at playgroup, no one is there. They jump back into their car and drive towards the museum. Stop the bus! cries Mummy Pony. Pedro is here! Miss Rabbit stops the bus and Pedro jumps on board. By the time they get to the museum, it is quite late. Mr. Rabbit is locking the museum's door when the bus arrives. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Rabbit, says Madame Gazelle. We would like to see the museum, please. I was just about to close, says Mr. Rabbit. But I suppose I can give you a quick tour. Hooray! Hooray! Everyone cheers. First, Mr. Rabbit shows the children a room full of clothes that belong to kings and queens. Pedro likes to look at things for a long time. Hmm, this is interesting, he says, stopping to look at the shiny crown. The class follow Mr. Rabbit through the museum. Here are all the giant dinosaur skeletons says Mr. Rabbit. They are all very old and very interesting. Wow. The children all gasp as they look around. No one notices that Pedro is getting left behind. The last room on the tour is the space room. This room is dedicated to space, rockets and all of that sort of thing, says Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit needs to lock up the museum, so he shows everybody the exit. But Pedro is still inside the museum. <coughs> Madame Gazelle goes to find him. Madame Gazelle eventually finds Pedro, but when they get outside, the school bus has gone without them. Oh dear, says Mr. Rabbit, have you missed the bus? Oh no! Mr. Rabbit is about to get into his car to go home. Mr. Rabbit, I am a teacher and I need your car, says Madame Gazelle. Jump in, Pedro. <laughs> Madame Gazelle takes Mr. Rabbit's car. Don't worry, Pedro, says Madame Gazelle. I know a shortcut. Hello, ducks, says Pedro. Soon they are back at playgroup. No one is here, says Madame Gazelle. Oh. oh no, says Pedro. Am I late again? <whistles> Just then the school bus turns up. <whistles> no, Pedro. I think for once you are early. <whistles> Pedro is early, cheers Peppa jumping off the bus. Yes, says Pedro, and you're late, slow coaches. <laughs> Pedro decides he likes being early. Everyone likes being early. <laughs> the end. Hi, kids. Did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more! <laughs>